y'all and welcome to Our Green Acres. I'm Teresa. If this is your first time on our channel, welcome. We're so glad you're here. Uh, if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, we'd love for you to. Just hit that red subscribe button. Also, please go over and follow me on Instagram at Our Green Acres. And at the end of the video, I'll have my Facebook home decor page. Love for you to go over there and join in. So today's video is gonna be a little bit more of what we did last week in the in the video. Um, more decoupage and some more bunnies. Um, because I guess I'm trying to pull from those sort of um, things that I have, pull from my own resources and because we can't go out and buy things right now. So I had some more bunnies printed. So I just kind of wanted to use those up and just give you a few more ideas of some things that you can make. And I made all of these out of drop cloth and hot glue. There's no sew to these. You can sew them though if you wanted to. Um, but y'all know I love drop cloth because it's so inexpensive. You know, you can get a six by nine piece of drop cloth at Lowe's for less than $7. And you can do a lot out of that one piece of um, drop cloth. So I made um, some little, I made a little pillow and um, I just decoupaged with the Mod Podge my little printable bunny, and then I stuffed it, and then I gave it a smooth edge across the bottom. And um, this one was super easy, and I think this would be so cute in a tear tray or in a basket or just sitting out somewhere with your spring or your Easter decor. And I made that one, and then I also made a larger one. And the larger one I could not finish because I didn't realize after I made my pillow cover that I did not have enough stuffing to stuff it. So right now I just have a pillow off of my sofa as an insert for it, just to let you see how, what it looks like as it's filled out. Uh, once I can go back out and shop and get some more um, filling, I'll fill it and then I'll seal it up on the bottom and make it smooth like this one right here. So anyway, I hope you do, you'll get the inspiration from it of what I intended, but like I say, it didn't get finished. <laughs> but anyway, um, did the same thing with this, and I'll put all the measurements for the drop cloth pieces that I use in the description box, and there's also going to be a link to this bunny, um, the download to, for this bunny. This is a YouTube video that I watched, uh, it's designed in the nines. She had a great video of, um, a pillow that she made with a bunny on it. And um, she actually didn't make the pillow cover. She actually bought one and then put this little bunny on it and did some painting. It was really pretty. So you know, I'll have a link to that in the description box. So, um, so I made that and I made these cute little bags. Y'all, I love these. And my inspiration for these bags was a few weeks ago, I was in a gift shop and they had some canvas bags and they had cute bunnies on them. And anyway, they were $25. So I thought, well, I'm gonna to try to make those. And um, if you don't want to make the bag, um, and I know, don't wanna encourage anybody to be getting out, but once we can get back out, uh, Hobby Lobby has just some plain canvas bags for $1.99. But I, I made mine, and like I say, this is drop cloth and just hot glued it all the way around. And if you don't want your ends to fray, cause a lot of times it's gonna fray a little bit, the drop cloth, but if you let it, if you fray it some and then clip it off, once it gets down to that uh, hot glued seam, it will quit fraying, but you could put some Mod Podge on the, on the ends of this if you wanted it to kind of, um, you know, keep a better shape and not fray. Um, I don't mind that, but I was just gonna throw that in there is a, you know, a helpful hint, um, a helpful tip. But anyway, I've made some straps and just glued the straps on. And like I say, if you want this to be sturdier, um, you know, you'll want to sew it. This is just going to be for decorative use only. This would be so cute, you know, hanging on the back of a chair, you know, a coat rack or just any kind of a, a hanging rack. And um, I, I'm, I can't wait to use these. And then I just added some, some ribbon to it. And then I had this cute little um, printable bunny. You just go out and Google. This is a water, called a watercolor bunny, and it's a free printable. And I just printed it out, and I thought it turned out so cute. You know, and you can you can do any kind of printable you want. Um, you know, just do what you like or whatever is the theme in your home. If you like farmhouse, you like more of the farm animals, like the chickens, uh, the cows, the little pigs. 
you know, there's tons of those out there too. I think the cows would be cute, but I did one with the vintage bike um, that has like the spring um, flower basket. And these are right now so popular and I love those little bicycles. But I printed out and did one of those and I thought it turned out really pretty because I love like the pinks and the greens. And then I made a little bow for it. And I stuffed each one of these bags with just some uh, plastic little grocery bags and just to give it a little poof and a little shape. But y'all, these were so fun to make. And then um, and just real quick, just, you know, I love vintage stuff, just about anything vintage, I love it. But I love like old McCall um, patterns and pattern covers. And um, so you can go out and there's a lot of these out there that are really neat. You could also print some of these. And I think these would be really pretty on the pillows, you know, or the bags. So just, just a few more ideas of, of free printables that are out there. I printed several and that way I just had a choice of, you know, what all I liked and what, you know, the colors and stuff like that. So I still got some, I'm, I'm sure I'll use these for upcoming projects. But anyway, y'all, um, that's it. I'm going to get on with the video. I hope all of y'all are doing well. You know, keep up your spirits and keep sending me the notes. And thank goodness, y'all, we still have technology because we can still connect with people and talk and, and interact. We just can't, you know, get out and see people in person like, like we would like. But it's all going to be okay. And like I say, thank goodness for technology um, I did tell my husband the other night, I was like, I sure do wish you could, you knew how to be a hairdresser because <laughs> my hair, like, oh, I told him, I text my, my girl that does my hair and I told her, I said, I miss you. So anyway, least of my worries is, is, is my hair right now, but just things that we take for granted in life and we just take for granted that our next hair appointment is going to happen and, you know, who, who knew, but anyway, Thank y'all so much for coming on today, and I hope you get some inspiration from the video, and I, and I hope you enjoy it.